I'm here today with healthcare analyst Dr. Michael Aikenhead. Dr. Aikenhead, why is Vectura such an exciting and interesting investment opportunity right now? Vectura is a UK based specialty pharmaceutical company focused on the development of inhaled treatments for respiratory diseases. Specifically, the company's most advanced products are targeting the treatment of asthma and COPD, or smoker's lung, uh, which is a $16 billion a year market and growing quickly. We believe that the company is poised to capture significant value from the COPD and asthma markets in really one of three ways. Uh, firstly, the company's got a late-stage pipeline of products in development for COPD, which are partnered with Novartis in a global licensing deal. Now the first product, Seabri, has already been approved and is on the market in Europe and Japan. And the second product, QVA149, we're expecting an approval in Europe and Japan towards the end of this year. And secondly, the company is developing a portfolio of generic or copy versions of existing inhaled drugs. Uh, in particular, the company is developing a generic version of GSK's Advia, which at $8 billion in annual sales is the world's biggest selling respiratory drug. We hope that the company might be able to achieve an approval for the generic version of Adbear sometime around the end of this year. That product is partnered with Sandos, the generics division of Novartis. Now thirdly, the company has also a, a portfolio of technologies, including the development of the powders that go on the inhalers and the inhaler devices themselves. And as I mentioned, the company already has deals with Novartis and Sandos, which validate these technologies, but it also has deals with other companies like GSK for its dry uh, powder formulation expertise. And why is the story interesting now? Well, we see 2013 as a, an important year for Vectura. Uh, the company has a rich news flow profile on both the product portfolio and its development pipeline. Uh, I see the potential for multiple value inflection points during 2013 that should drive share price performance to certainly close the gap between the current share price of 92p and our valuation of around 125p per share. I would just point out the key news flow really centres around um, its late stage pipeline, particularly the QVA combination product, where we're expecting key data to be presented at a conference in mid-May, which should, in our view, reinforce the very positive profile that we have on the product and cement the drug's reputation amongst physicians. We're also anticipating the approval for that product, QVA, towards the end of 2013 in the key Japanese and European markets. Beyond that, we're expecting approvals, potentially, for some of the other companies' other generic products in development, including the generic Advia, which we believe could be approved around the fourth quarter of this year. It sounds like it's a very busy time for the company right now, but what are the potential long-term challenges that you face? Well, I would say key are the uh, development and regulatory risks associated with its uh, late-stage pipeline of uh, COPD drugs. In particular, uh, the combination product QVA is currently in a regulatory review in both Europe and Japan. So while we're expecting approval, uh, we won't know obviously until Q4 whether that comes through or not. We're very confident it will, but there's obviously still a risk associated with the regulatory review of the product. Uh, secondly, there's a development risk associated with the COPD products in the US where the regulator, the FDA, has asked uh, Novartis and Victoria to go back and do additional trials to really test the dosing of the drugs. I think the other things to think of really are the competitive risk. Uh, GSK, one of the large pharmaceutical companies, is developing competing uh, COPD inhalers and we're expecting uh, data and potential approvals for those products this year. And when it comes to valuing the company, what's your approach? Okay, we utilise a what we call a risk-adjusted uh, sum of the parts MPV analysis. Essentially what we do is we forecast cash flows for the leading products in the pipeline or on the market out 10 years and then we discount them back at 12.5%. Uh, that derives our valuation of around 460 million sterling, which is equivalent to around 125p per share. At the current share price of 92p, our valuation offers around 35% upside. And recently, how have the shares been performing? The shares have performed very well over the last 12 months. They're up around 60% over the last 12 months and around 10% year to date. And that share price performance has really been delivered by positive news flow on the pipeline, including product approvals, positive data and trials, and certainly reinforced by the company's strong financial position and good financial performance in line with analyst expectations. And looking forward, what are the potential value inflection points? Well, there's a number of key value inflection points this year. As we discussed earlier, there's this data that's going to be presented at the leading respiratory meeting in the US in mid-May. And like I said, I think that data will really cement the drug's reputation amongst respiratory physicians. 
And on the basis of that, I can see the products achieving peak sales of around 2.1 billion globally, that's in US dollars, uh, including around 900 million in Europe and around 1.2 billion in the US market. Dr. Aikenhead, thank you very much. And if you would like any more information, please visit the Edison website.